Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, just a quick update on the 100 megahertz Rigol DS1052E hack. Now, I reported on the uh, forum that a user has contacted me and said that um, there actually there's a new version of firmware 2.04 that apparently fixes the uh, issue about the, you know, it no longer lets you mod the scope with those simple serial commands. So uh, what I thought I'd do um, is actually upgrade the firmware because the user actually reported that if you do it with um, an earlier version of firmware, if you do the hack with an earlier version than 2.04, when you upgrade the firmware, it'll actually stick. And that if you do happen to buy a, um, a new model oscilloscope with 2.04 or greater firmware, you can actually downgrade first, do the upgrade, and then re-upgrade to 2.04 or later, and the firmware should stick. So I thought I'd actually give it a go and see if it works. Okay, just before we do the upgrade, let's just check the rise and fall time here. 3.5 nanoseconds, as you can see, so that's 100 megahertz bandwidth. Now, we'll just go in and we'll check the uh, firmware version, system info. There it is. I'm currently running 2.01 SP1, and it's a DS1102E. Alright, let's update the firmware and see what happens. I've got a memory stick here with uh, 2.04 firmware on it and plug it in and let's see what happens whoa detect a lower version software upgrade or not i don't think it's supposed to say that so i'm not quite sure what's happening there but oh well i'm i'm pretty sure i've got the right files on there so let's give it a go choose okay and this could take a while Yep, there we go, 2.04 firmware, so it has actually upgraded, but um, it, yeah, so it looks like as soon as you finish the USB stick, you've just got to repower, so let's double check that again, system info, and yeah, it's still a DS1102E, and I've got 2.04 firmware, there you go, but just because the model number's there doesn't mean it is actually 100 megahertz, let's go back and check it, shall we? Run and yep, we're still 3.5 nanoseconds, it's still 100 megahertz. So the mod does stick when you upgrade the firmware. Okay, we've got firmware 2.04 installed. Now let's see if we can change it back. Asterix IDN question mark 010. Okay, we've got firmware 2.04. Let's see if we can change it. Colon info model let's see if we can change it back to DS 1052E and we'll try and change the serial number two info serial DS one E D this time one one zero eight double zero nine one five and zero one zero and we'll repower the scope and see if it's changed anything. Okay, power up the scope. And no, it's still two well it's still two point oh four but Let's go in and check the serial number. System info. No, DS1102E. No, it's still the uh, E. Oh, yes, it did change. It allowed us to change the serial number. See, it's changed to ED, but it didn't let us change the model number. The model didn't stick. And as you can see, even with the changed serial number, it's still a 100 megahertz scope. Alright, now let's see if we can change the firmware back to 2.02. It's currently 2.04. I've got 2.02 on the memory stick. Let's plug it in and detect a lower software version upgrade. Okay. Okay, it's done. It says update successful. Please restart. So let's restart. Disconnect the memory stick. Boot up. And we're 2.02 SP2. So the... Uh, 
downgrading the firmware does actually work. Let's go into system info. There it is, it's still 1102E and the serial number is still the D version and we've got 2.02. Okay, let's see if we can downgrade this model. Let's try it again. Asterix IDN, question mark, 010, Rigol Technologies 2.02, .02, colon, info, model, DS, 1052E, 010, and let's change the serial number as well, info, Serial space DS one E D one one zero eight zero zero nine one five zero one zero and that should stick. And you can see, I haven't repowered this yet, it's instantly changed over to DS1052E. So if you have it on that screen, it actually um, changes that instantly. But let's try and restart it. Okay, utility. System info, bingo, we're back to a DS1052E uh, firmware version 2.02. .02. So uh, it's confirmed that 2.02 .02 SP2 firmware still lets you modify the model number. And of course, just to confirm that really is 50 megahertz. There you go, the rise time is back to normal and we can only go down to 5 nanoseconds per division. So it's definitely the 50 megahertz mode. Okay, sorry I forgot to press record here, but I have just uh, changed it back, done the same procedure, DS1102E, and I changed the serial number back, and if you can see here, it's instantly reflected on the scope here, DS1102E, so we're back to normal there, let's repair it. And let's see what happens here. Utility, system info, bingo, we're back to DS1102E, uh, and the firmware version is, ch uh, the serial number has changed, sorry, and let's try and probe that signal again, and run, and bingo, 3.5 nanoseconds, 2 nanoseconds per division, we're back to the 100 megahertz model again. Okay, so we've gone from Rev 2.01 to uh, 2.04, we've shown that the firmware sticks, we've gone back to Rev 2.02, .02, showing that you, can, um, change, that you can revert back to a previous version and that um, you can change the model number. And now I've got the 2.04 on the memory stick again, and let's go and put our scope back to the latest version. Once again, it says lower version, so I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, it's definitely 2.04. Choose OK, and here we go. OK, there it is. I must have missed that message last time. Up data succeeded. <laughs> A bit of chinglish there. Please restart. So let's restart it. Take out the memory stick, and... Bingo, 2.04. And utility, let's go in, system info, it's stuck again, DS1102E, so the mod has stuck, 2.04, and let's measure that signal one more time, just to make sure we do really have 100 megahertz bandwidth, and yes we do, there we go, 3 nanoseconds rise and fall time, and the time base goes down to 2 nanoseconds, perfect. So there you go, that goes to show that you can, even if you've got the new firmware, you can downgrade the firmware to the old one, at least 2.02 um, .02 SP2 or lower, and you can do the mod, and then you can uh, re-upgrade the firmware to at least uh, 2.04. I can't guarantee that it's going to work on future versions, but 2.04 works, and the mod sticks. 
So even if you get a new firmware one from Rigol, you should be able to downgrade it. Now, uh, that doesn't mean Rigol are going to fix this hole again in the future. Who knows? But uh, it certainly works for 2.04, that's for sure. Um, so there's not a problem at all. Now, there was actually, um, 2.04 hasn't actually been seen in the field yet. At least I've got no reports of it. Um, but uh, Rigol have been giving 2.04 to various uh, customers. Uh, anyway, um, so they have, there's reports that uh, they have actually um, stopped, uh, stopped distributing the scope for a little bit until they could upgrade the firmware and all the units. And there were actually reports that Rigol have known about this for a long time, way before it was done on this uh, blog. Apparently, um, some people in, in China knew about the, uh, the hack and were actually um, doing it uh, well before then. So uh, Rigol have, um, have known about it for quite some time, but they haven't really done much about it until it gained popularity. But um, yeah, it still works. There you go. You can downgrade the firmware, make the mod easy.